We're at Shake Shack. Unfortunately, Judy, man, Juliana actually did not sleep. Crazy. I mean, like screaming last night. She's actually getting better, so she can cry louder. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, I'm here with mom right now. Mom, are you excited to try Shake Shack? Yeah. Yeah. Judy's Judy's been telling her mom how good this place is. I kind of feel bad, but there might not be another time we can come here. Mom got something that looks delicious. It's like a regular burger. That's got a, a mushroom on it. Portobello, I think. That looks delicious. And they got the crinkle crust fries here. And then this is their regular burger. This is comparable to what um, they have at In N Out. I actually think this is better than In N Out. Okay. I got me a uh, strawberry shake, and mom got uh, lemonade. Oh, mom, are you excited? Oh, yeah. I want to capture your first bite of Shake Shack. Can you tell me what it is? I've never tried that, actually. It looks very unique. Which one is this? Uh, the shack? Shake Stack or Shack Stack? This mushroom. Is I think it's a deep fried mushroom. I mean, there's one, one that is, uh, mm. this is, uh, no, this is not, no meat? Mushroom. No, there's meat. Huh? There's meat. Say mushroom burger? No, no, it says cheeseburger and a mushroom burger. Oh my goodness. They're stopping inside or that's... Is that good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys definitely need to check out Shake Shack. I mean, everybody knows about Shake Shack. It's like very well known. It is good. But they're good. I mean, I personally love In and Out. I'm an In and Out fan. This is, but this, a version of In -N -Out. this is this oh, is this better. Is I think the quality is better. Is that that expensive though? They cook their burgers medium rare, mm -hmm. which most places don't do it. They overcook their burgers just for safety reasons, but mm -hmm. like they're living on the edge. Good morning. Did you have a fabulous sleep? It sure looks like it. <laughs> My cutie. We're about to go see the 9-11 site. It's so tall you can't even see it. The top is uh, in the clouds right now. But it's not quite finished. It doesn't look like it's finished, I can tell. So on a journey to find the bathroom, sorry, we found this place. This is like cans that got turned into art. That is a honeybee made out of mushroom cans. It's kinda cool. Oh, they actually got honey inside. That's cool. Oh man, they got all kinds of stuff. What is this right here? Oh, a peeling of an orange. That's kind of cool. I think this is a dog made out of tuna. This is a robot. It looks like the robot for... What is that? <laughs> We're here at the 9-11 Memorial. And mom really wanted to see this. Wow, it's beautiful. They have the names of, I'm just assuming the names of firemen that have died. Here's another shot. I wonder how deep that goes. Memorial, like, what should we call it, fountains. And it's color coordinated on this map of the people's names that are along this memorial and different colors mean different things so when we first came up to the memorial it was first responders so firefighters uh, police officers then the blue where we're actually at are people that were in the uh let's see i think it's the first or the second world trade center even has people's names that died on the flights on that day pentagon people really sad all these people and they even have people from a long time ago, from 1993, when it was first bombed. So I just found that out. Mom gave me the pamphlet, but really sad. A lot of people died here. I remember when this happened, but 12 years ago, I was pretty sad. I was, I was, I was proud for people, for sure. This is a tree that actually 
survive the whole the whole devastation. They are going to replace the two buildings with five new ones. Here is one. I believe that oh, so good. There's another one right there. I believe they're going to also build one over there. And they got two here. Already showed you one, but this one to the right. Look at these cute dogs. Got like clothes on. Odd couple there. For show. Sure. Juliana, you are doing so well. But during our meeting, you weren't doing too awesome. If you take a right and another right, we're at a spot called Italy where we're meeting Laura and Dad. Uh, right there, Italy and Lotto. So I don't know if they're already inside, but we're bringing Juliana's stroller. This is actually Juliana's first time in the stroller in the city. But earlier, Italy. I didn't film. We were having a meeting with our network. Mom, you feel we had okay? A with the network. Are you okay? Thanks and, for uh, <laughs> helping with Juliana. I'm looking forward to eat. Tuttle. <laughs> oh, it smells good. It smells like amazing coffee. Why is it so blurry in here? See the camera? Okay. Are they here already, hen? Okay, so what's here? Ooh. Little dessert. Oh yeah, I'll check out these pastries. Do they have meats down there too? Oh cheeses. Oh that smells good. There's a Laura meeting Juliana for the first time. Okay, hi Juliana. Oh, she's so tired. She is so beautiful. Thank you. Okay, so this is cool. Laura Vitali is showing us around Italy. This one of your favorite spots in New York? authentic parmigiano yes buffalo mozzarella for sure. so this little area oh man just smelling today. this was it's quite amazing. so like this here we've got really really fresh cheeses we call mm -hmm. that like freshly made um it's just it's, it's just amazing mm -hmm. i love this place it's too bad we don't have a kitchen here in new york i, I bet you'd love hotel, to cook i don't have a fridge in my hotel room either mm -hmm. we have even restaurants in here yeah did you already show Laura Vitale? Yeah. We're hanging out with Laura Vitale, everyone. Yes, <laughs> hanging out with the, the Laura Vitale. Laura in the kitchen, if you don't know. I thought Laura was going to ask me for advice, but no, she just wanted some manual labor. <laughs> <laughs> I need a basket, man. No, we should get. I'm, I'm bringing stuff so we get. Okay, so I have some questions for you, Laura. Okay, Shoot. like about. Pasta, okay. Sure. You know the stuff they sell at Costco? Is that legit? Or I don't what? know the pasta. I don't know. Oh, so you want to give it now? <laughs> okay, tell us what we need to buy. Mars never been to Costco. <laughs> I know. I feel so left out. Everyone talks about Turks and Costco. Yeah. Me. Pasta that's made just from semolina and water is the best you're gonna get. What yeah. semolina? Semolina is a type of flour. Oh, and okay, okay. Egg. So it's, it, there's no egg, there's no old peppers flour, so it's, yeah. it's, it holds up so well to every, pretty much every sauce. Mm -hmm. um, if you're going to spend the extra buck, I really suggest going with an authentic, made in Italy, Heck really yeah. good yeah. yeah. That's a personal, you know, mm -hmm. obviously we all use Paz Barilla as a great brand. Yeah. But if Is you it want really? Something, I, I, I don't yeah, mind. Yeah, I, I think like I saw it. I, like I think I've seen you use it before. I don't mind it. Yeah. I think it's a good brand. Um, I don't know. I the reason I question special, it is because it's in every supermarket. So I just imagine it's like I so tell you corporate. What, right, the gorilla right. you see here and the gorilla you get in Italy is yeah. two different things. Oh. It has a Siri. Have I ever told you about the Siri? Did I tell you? Yeah. That Italy uh, exports the crappy stuff and keeps all the good stuff for themselves. Oh, this is what they sell at Costco. I love this brand. Really? really do. Oh, absolutely. Do you think this, this is better than that, Brent? I found this in Italy. This brand in oh, Italy. Really? I switched. Oh! 
Yeah. So Costco, Costco sells some legit. real stuff. They know what they're doing. Yeah. And I think this is made in Italy. This is one of the first things we learned to eat as kids. That's so funny. Why do they put dye in the pasta? I have no idea. Laura says there's some awesome quality uh, tomatoes came from Italy, canned tomatoes, that is sweet so you don't have to put sugar in your pastas, which is what we do. And uh, you call it what? It's, they're from San Marzano. So if the can says San Marzano tomatoes on it, it means that the tomatoes are from San Marzano and they're very close to Naples. Super sweet. You don't need to add any sugar because the combination of that with like the onion. Uh, we're not trying to buy too much because we don't want it uh, to pack our luggage. But... Okay, cool. There go. I wish we had more time here because I would totally eat like meats and stuff, you know? know. Cheese and stuff. Look how insanely large this pizza is. I didn't realize it's going to be this big. In fact, this is like a smaller size pizza. Like we're having dinner with the Italians. <laughs> Ash bay, ash bay, ash bay, ash bay, ash bay. Oh no 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 no! It's okay. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hello, baby. She was just crying earlier, but she wants to watch some cooking. She's like, I see people. We're back in the hotel, and this baby bear. Was a DQ monster. I got yogurt in here. Oh yeah. Excuse me. Oh. She Juliana's kinda out of it. She doesn't even know what's going on. She doesn't even know where she's at. <laughs> Hi baby. Cutie bear. Hola. Forever twenty one. Yes, we're at Forever Twenty One because I just wanna look for a top. A cute top to wear tomorrow cuz I didn't I actually I actually packed light so I could buy something here in New York and then of course why am I buying it here at Forever 21 I don't know like because there's not really many shops that I'm familiar with here in New York so I don't know where to go but the Forever 21 is right here in Times Square so that's why Going on a tour of Fifth Avenue. Like that. Hey, uh, Julian, I have the, uh, Juliana, I have a question for you. Who's that lady? Renovate? Oh, okay. Well, St. Patrick's even has a Twitter. <laughs> Is that you? Are you the lady? <laughs> One more time. Who's that lady? <laughs> what you looking at? What you looking at? Who's that lady? <laughs> oh, pff, oh pff, she picking my nose. You got it. You got it. Come on, you got it. And there, there you go. Okay. Come on. There you go. You got it. There you go. Come on. Come on. There you go! 
Oh, yeah! Yay! There you go. One more time, little one. Come on, you can do it! There you go! I'm gonna help you out just a little bit. Alright, come on, little one. Come on. Come on. Roll over. She's starting to get it. Come on, come on. He had a little help from daddy. Okay, gotta upload for mama. Hey, yeah, yeah. How long was that? Four minutes and fifteen. Rockefeller Center. Center. This is where NBC In Studios is. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's where they put up the really big tree and um, SNL. Well, not here exactly, but this is beautiful. Uh, uh, not a lot of people are ice skating there. Oh, okay. Ready? Oh. Oh, over there. That's a good view. Right here? Okay. This is the hippie one. This is the hippie one. It's actually not organic though, honey. It's just the whole natural one. Isn't it good? It's like a fresh flavor.